Hello, gamers, people of New World. It's me, Lamani. I'm back. I'm here. I'm alive. Yes, schedule's a little weird right now, but keep your eyes on the Discord on when we'll be live streaming, when we'll be doing all kinds of stuff. I'll keep you all updated. Don't worry about it. I apologize for lack of videos. Again, we're getting the flow of our new schedule going. I'm going to be shifting towards a nighttime streaming schedule. We're aiming to do three days a week. Next week, it will start. I'm still wanting to do two this week. I'll, again, I'll keep you updated. <clears throat> so what do I have for you today? Because I'm feeling spicy and because I was feeling bad. I want to do Wacky Wednesday. Now, this is something on our last stream that I was starting to touch on with the PTR is throwing hatchet is actually absurd. So you'll see I have the old, good old-fashioned spear hatchet on for full throwing effectiveness. And it is crazy. If you don't know, what's, what's going on with the throwing hatchet? Well, test this on live compared to what I'm about to do now. But watch how fast those come out. It's like inhuman. They're literally laser beams. They're coming out fast, but watch the abilities, right? I go into throw, into rending throw, into infected throw. Look how fast it is. And we have tons of cooldown reduction. We have all kinds of stuff built in. It is insane, especially if you just stay aimed on sight, rending throw into that, like that, right? And I'm going, and I'm going. And it's just so fast. Even infected throw right out of here, boom. And that does a ton of damage. So let's talk build. What are we doing? Similar to what we would have done in the past. I'm going to touch on the spear. What's the point of the spear? You want to throw a javelin. The whole point is it is an atomic nuke, but it also will put a giant rend on the target. So ideally, you'd want to have um, sundering javelin on your weapon so that you can get the most rend out of it, but a little hard on the PTR. I couldn't get the javelin perk, nor could I get the rending throw perk, which is actually insane and increases your throwing damage, which just makes it even better. So you're not even going to see max damage. But here's what we're doing for the spear side. You basically max out javelin. I just went all the way for the damage bonus. We can get up to 100% damage bonus if we were about, uh, you know, 40 meters away. Um, so if you can hit that, great. If you can't, not bad, whatever. Still really, really big damage. You get him in the head, we'll force the crit and all that stuff. Basically, I only care about my javelin. I took these two simply because I wanted to get exploited weakness, giving us up to a 30% additional damage buff based on all the other buffs that we have on the target or debuffs we have on the target. So it's just an atomic missile javelin setup and you just keep swapping to it to get your rend on and you keep on doing your little throw combo. That's about it. You can use this for some self peel, all that good stuff. You can put the bleed on them if you want to. Somebody's up close, then swap back, do more damage, all that good stuff. Now, hatchet wise, what are we doing? Some of you might ask why did I didn't take social distancing. It's a long animation, does do decent damage, and it is some mobility and stuff, but this is going to be a PvE-focused build. I will say for PvP, I'd probably go this, but I'm looking for pure PvE damage. Yes, you can run it in PvP, but it is a little bit difficult. I'm going to talk about that once I finish just talking about the tree. So what do we do? I went Berserk just for the 20% damage for 12 seconds, comboed with all this stuff, going in a glass cannon damage build it's just nuts why do i take on the hunt this does nothing this does nothing this does nothing all the light and heavy attack modifiers do not adjust your throws so these are all just worthless so i figured out why not just go for the one thing that might modify your damage if you're close get 10 percent bonus damage for every enemy just get that extra damage increase might as well you could go here and get the heal um, there is some to say you could go all the way into here, maybe drop some of the, the random perks over on this side, and then you'd get um, uninterruptible berserk and get a grit, but I don't know if this counts as a grit for thwarting strikes. I was thinking about that, like what if you were rolled thwarting strikes using black guards, and then you get some bonus damage, just pure bonus damage. Um, I don't think it technically counts, nor does grit proc if you have the 300 strength attribute. So let's talk about attributes really quick. You can do this however you want it, right? Right now I'm in five con, just because I want to show you the absolute PVE damage potential you can have with it, because you know it's possible to do that kind of stuff. But I opted to go for the 300 dex perk as opposed to the 300 strength perk because it was about a 40 damage differential. I got way more on my spear, and then I could force a crit every 10 seconds, which is pretty nuts, especially with javelins all the throwing, all the headshotting, all that stuff. I also then get the bonus uh, random crit hit damage. I'm not sure essentially what they mean by that, but I'm just going to go along with it's a flat 10% crit hit damage buff against stun, slow, or rooted targets. Now, yes, it would be great to combo this with social distancing, but again, there's got to be something in your kit or somebody else out there that may be stunning, slowing, or rooting people. So keep that in mind. But as far as other perks, 
headshot damage is necessary. This is nice to combo with a dex build. I will say it's beautiful that the hatchet no longer takes stamina to throw, which is the greatest thing about it. We get some thrust damage and then crit chance is up by an additional 5%. It's now 10% on the PTR. And again, this is a PTR build. I, I should have prefaced that at the start. Um, then here, just bonus damage, slashing and striking. Technically, this counts as slash damage. We get all those little buffs, but the big one is just stun slow to rooted. We get a lot of synergy here, or here and here, and these two aren't necessarily that beneficial. So that's what I would do as far as attributes go. Um, if you want to adjust for con, which you probably should, you should probably play around 100, you probably play 50, do whatever you want. Honestly, this is a meme PvE build that absolutely shreds stuff and has solid potential and even if you scale it up to you know being like an m10 kind of build you put in your con and you just adjust these accordingly with however you want to do it whatever gets you the most damage and keeps you alive but it will still pump and you play it ranged it's nuts it's it's just a ton of fun and there's so many different things you can do with it just to make it better and better and better and better so let's talk about gearing really fast just because that's something that i struggle with on the pcr Right, you're you're gonna have all this damage gear. Like I can't really do much about it. I sat here and tried to proc whatever I could, and ultimately I just got mending infected throw. This isn't bad in PVE. You know, throw it on a little trash mob, blow them up, you get 20% heal. It's great. The real one we're looking for is the rending throw perk. Rending throws perk now makes it so if they are rendered by rending throw, you now do additional damage to them with your thrown hatchets. So you're gonna want to try and roll like a keen vicious um, with rending throw on it. Or, of, I don't think you can roll Vorpal on a hatchet, but that'd be kind of absurd. But Enchanted doesn't do anything for this because it doesn't count as a light or heavy. Thwarting Strikes could be good if you go for the Grit and Berserk. But right now, it's just looking like Keen Vicious, you know, maybe getting any kind of extra damage from like an Attunement, not really a Shirking because they're not going to be dodging through stuff. But an Attunement, getting some bonus damage there. However, you can roll it. Personally, I would go for running throw on here. I'd go for Sundering Javelin on here. Again, just got whatever I could just to get, you know, something. Um, but as far as additional perks, you can go with a Berserk perk if you can fit it in somewhere. Um, you can go for the Mending Throw perk if you want to. The real big ones are the Sundering Javelin and the Rending Throw perks. As far as jewelry goes, same kind of thing. I actually have slash damage on my ring right now. Sorry, Leo is grabbing my hand and wants to play really bad, as you can see. But... I have the slash damage on because that's all I can roll. Went hardy. You can go keen awareness. Um, it's probably your best bet. Just draw my mouse because Leo's kicking me. But you have all kinds of options, right? So you could go slash damage. You could go keen awareness. Probably go keen awareness. Again, this is what you can roll. Um, same things on your neck like always, like health, divine, stam recovery, um, and then earring, you know, refreshing toes, refreshing evasion, refreshing. You have so much cooldown reduction that you don't really need to roll like a bunch of refreshing or refreshing evasion gear. So you don't really have to worry about it. As far as gems go, I'm going to show this to you when I am on some dryad kind of mobs so that you can see the, or angry earth, sorry, so that you can see the fire damage popping off there and getting the most damage possible. And then I'm going to run an opal on the spear because I'm going to snapshot that first hit with rolling. So I get the stam reduction so the opal procs but as well as the guaranteed crit from the decks so let's get into the rotational kind of stuff all right so i'm about to be a, a glass can build against the little 66 elites just to kind of show you what the damage is like and again i want to talk about berserk versus social distancing you can take social distancing if you want to jump around do all that stuff and you have extra debuffs but again in an ideal world we have an even bigger rend because we have the javelin rend but just doesn't want to give it to us and then on top of that we have our rending throw rend and then we berserk and we're just popping off it doesn't really matter you don't have to only take the far right side and take all the social distancing stuff because the biggest thing is that social distancing applies a debuff the debuffs give additional damage but we're gonna have debuffs from other things and other party members but also the cooldown reduction you just get more over time from you know hitting your throws so if we look in the actual cooldown reduction end of things we get some from here just throwing hatchets reduced by five percent and then if a running throw hits a target with an active debuff that's why we want to infect it throw or have our javelin buff up first then we get additional damage again or additional cooldown reduction it's already on a short cooldown so it's not really super necessary ideally we'd have the rends on like this rend and the javelin rend before we infected throw because this has more base damage totally up to you right just just do it so let's see what would i do to start off i'd roll into this opal proc hit that yeah did i hit him in the head no but then i can pop berserk i mess up sometimes do it like that you know you'll you'll miss a shot or two but you just absolutely pump damage 
which is kind of nuts. We'll knock them down, rending, throw on the knockdown, and then just throw, right? And we'll just see. We You got to hit the headshots, but again, if we have double rend full debuff there, we're hitting crazy shots. Like that, that mending throw almost hit for 5k. We're looking for the rend quick. Into that, we miss the rend. Play back a little bit. And we can play, you know, play some distance. We get increased damage. He's looking for the hits. You can arc him. Bait him. We get more spear damage like that. A little tough to see with the smoke. But again, just bait. Just play the bait. Just play the bait. Hit him with the rend. We can heal up. It's like a little boss guy. Mending. Not mending. Infected throw. Play this. Play that. Chill for a sec. Hit a berserk. He's sitting still. Just keep moving. Into infected throw. That hits for almost 6k on a level 66 elite. Like, yeah, am I squishy? Of course. Am I hitting every shot? No, this guy should be dead by now. But you can kind of see what I mean by the amount of damage you're able to do. That was a little scary. Javelins, you got to aim up a little bit more. And these guys are weak to the spear. So, or strong against the spear. So it's kind of nuts how much damage you can still do with it. Even with that, it's like I hit for 4.2k there. Again, that's a thick boy. I am complete glass cannon, zero health. I can still take him on. We go here, knock him down, into the rend, into this, into berserk. Sometimes you'll mess up, get a little dodge in there. Boom, Bob's your uncle. Listen, I may have died to some poison while I was talking, but that's fine. Regardless, what am I, what am I talking about with this build? You just can do crazy amount of damage very fast, even to people who have their crazy fortify like that and we're critting and we're hitting huge amounts. Hatchet is certainly a somewhat viable meta play, I think in terms of PVE. Is it a little bit tough to use in PVP? Yes, it's hard to kite when you're throwing hatchets and stuff. It's just a fact of life, people, I'm sorry. But that's not to say there is a ton of viability in the PVE department for throwing hatchets. I mean, like, just think about on live right now, how slow it is to throw a hatchet. Versus right now, especially something like infected throw, I can pump this out in an instant, right? And if I'm not bad, I can hit targets. And if I'm not bad, I can hit hit targets. Listen, we miss sometimes. But in the end, all I'm trying to convey to you is that watch how fast these abilities come out now. Right? He's stand broken. Sorry. Boom. That's all. Your throwing hatchet is a laser beam. It comes out much faster. The throwing hatchet from back in the day is extremely, extremely viable. Like, you just demolish targets. I mean, again, I'm killing level 66 elites. If I have con, I probably, I probably don't die, right? And then as you kill things, mending throw or infected mending throw, you'll get heals. But I know I'm just kind of ranting on, giving you a demo of like how you play this. It's just you pump. You just pump. That's all. That's, that's all there is to it, right? Knock down. Even that, hit 4k. And you just keep going, right? Just keep on throwing. Go for headshots. Like, yeah, as people are running you, is it a little tough to hit shots? Sometimes, if you have horrible aim like I do right now. I should have hit him with the rend there. But imagine, again, if I have the rend from this on top of the actual throw. I mean, even from distance, I'm going to hit him. Like, look at look at how much of a laser beam that is, right? Compared to old, like, old hatchet. If I could actually hit him, though. We go like this, you know, oh, he's retreating, but still, it it's just, it, it's absurd, people. I want everyone to give it a shot. I don't want people to just sit there and think it's a meme still. Like, is it a little bit of a meme? Maybe. But if you see somebody who's legit doing this, and on top of that, you have the rending throw perk and everything, there's they're not messing around, right? Like, there is a legitimate window of opportunity there for them. So, as always, I want people to give it a shot. This is probably the most fun build in the game, throwing hatchets and doing stuff like this because nobody plays it. Try and maybe snipe some gear if you can find it cheap. But as always, thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. And thank you to every single one of you for being you. Again, I appreciate every single one of you. I hope you're enjoying New World still. There's a ton of fun things coming, and I'm looking forward to it. So as always, I'll keep you updated on the live streams, but take it easy. Peace, 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 peace.